Welcome, everybody. My name is Simon Wright. <clears throat> I am the Director of Programming here at uh, Japan House London. And thank you for joining us uh, for this very special, <clears throat> excuse me, special talk and demonstration exploring Ainu woodworking in Nibutani. Today, in addition to our audience here at Japan House, here in the hall, we are also broadcasting to a virtual audience on Zoom, YouTube, X, and LinkedIn, and Facebook. So a warm welcome to all our online viewers. The event is being recorded, and a recording will be archived on our social media platforms. Today's event is part of a program held alongside Japan House's current exhibition, Ainu Stories, Contemporary Lives by the Saru River. The Ainu are an indigenous people of northern Japan who have their own distinct language and cultural traditions. The exhibition at Japan House London explores Ainu culture as it exists today in one community, that's Nibutani in southern Hokkaido, where there is an active movement to celebrate and sustain Ainu culture in various fields. These include song and dance, the Ainu language, Ainu food culture, and also what we will be able to experience today, Ainu craftwork, including woodworking. To begin the event, we will be first joined by Yamasaki Koji, professor at the Center for Ainu and Indigenous Studies at Hokkaido University, who will give us an overview of Ainu craft in Nibutani. We will then welcome members from the Nibutani Craft Cooperative Association, who will give demonstrations of Ainu wood carving today. Kaizawa Mamoru will introduce the process of making Nibutani Ita, from the pattern drawing all the way through to carving techniques, while Kawanano Toshia will demonstrate the process of carving Inao, and I would say an extremely a uh, rare opportunity to see this uh, here today. After the presentations, there will be an opportunity to ask questions. Questions are also welcomed from our viewers online in Zoom, who can submit their questions using the Zoom Q&A function. So to start with, let me introduce our first speaker, Yamasaki Koji. He is professor at the Center for Ainu and Indigenous Studies at Hokkaido University, and he specializes in cultural anthropology and museum studies. Professor Yamasaki's research, while collaborating with members of the Ainu community, focuses on contemporary interpretation and use of museum material. He also conducts research on representations of indigenous peoples, the promotion of Ainu crafts, and overseas Ainu collections. Will you please join me in warmly welcoming Professor Yamasaki Koji. Irankarapte uh, is meaning the hero of the EIN language. Uh, my name is Koji Yamasaki from Hokkaido University Center for Ainu Indigenous Studies. Uh, today, uh, I'm very happy to share the, my experience and knowledge about the uh, Ainu cultures and uh, with Ainu embroidery and wood carving. So it's very short time, so please enjoy my talk. And uh, after that, uh, more enjoy the demonstration. Uh, this is the outline of my talks. First, I'm talking about the uh, Ainu collection in the United Kingdom, and then I talk about the uh, Ainu embroidery and wood carving. And uh, that's just only three topics. Uh, first, uh, I would like to talk about the history of Ainu, uh, history of research of overseas Ainu collections. Uh, first, a uh, research of Ainu collections in Western Europe was conducted by Dr. Josef Kreiner at the University of Bonn, Germany in 1980s. Then uh, he reported the existence of more than 5,000 iron materials in museum in Western Europe. This number of materials greatly surprised by Japanese scholars. Later in 1990s, a survey of iron collection in North America and Russia was conducted by Japanese scholars. Uh, Professor Kotani, the organizer of the research of iron collection in the United States, is uh, he was uh, my professor. 
as a result of the survey, the, we discovered the existence of about uh, 30,500 uh, iron materials overseas. And this is a map of uh, uh, overseas iron collections. Uh, you can find uh, uh, many iron collections in Europe. Uh, Germany have a lot of iron collections. Of course, the uh, United Kingdom also have a lot of iron collections. And this is a list of uh, museums in the United Kingdom that hold iron collections. This is excerpt from a list uh, made by Dr. Josef Kreiner's team. The British Museum and the Pitt Rivers Museum have uh, many iron materials. Uh, Dr. Kreiner's research was uh, conducted in 1980s. Nowadays, uh, with the development of a digital database of museum materials, the number of newly discovered iron materials is increasing. There are probably about uh, 900 iron materials in the United Kingdom. Updating this list is an uh, important task for me and for us. Next, uh, I will talk about a couple of the topics of uh, embroidery and wood carving. I hope this information uh, will help you to uh, this special exhibition. And there are many techniques used in the iron embroideries. There are two basic techniques. Uh, one is called oho or ohokara. This is called uh, chain stitch in French, French embroideries. The other is called ikarari. This is a coaching stitch. Uh, in this picture, the red thread is ikarari. Here. And, uh, and offer can be seen on the both sides of it. Uh, next, uh, this is a technique that is often found on all the garments. And uh, this is the single line design. The thread of this ikarari, a coaching stitch, have never been cut off. And uh, we're looking for the starting point. Uh, the other side, this is the starting point. This one, here. And the crossing, the crossing is the uh, utasa in Ayn languages. And then, here. Don't cut off the gold. Yes. Okay. And Nobuko Tsuda, a first iron woman to receive a PhD, studied iron design and embroideries. He is also a very accomplished artisan. He has uh, academically illustrated a traditional design method that utilizing a grid frame. This method does not require rulers or tracing paper. And this is the grid line. Now I designed the fitting the uh, this grid. Uh, to uh, illustrate it, it's academically. And the most popular question about the iron design is about the meaning and the origin of the pattern. Unfortunately, academia cannot answer the, these questions clearly. There are various opinions about the meaning of the patterns. My explanation is that the protects against evil spirits, while another says that they have no meanings. Nevertheless, uh, each maker embroiders with the hope that the wearer will be happy. This is true. In this case, uh, referring to oral literature is one approach, I think. I would like to introduce a summary of oral literature collected in the eastern part of the Hokkaido. This is a story about the origin of such crossing patterns. Okay. Oh. I read, this is a summary, originally it's a written, uh, talking in Ainu languages. 
uh, once upon a time, there are many small and large villages where many iron live. In small villages, living are young men and women, and the people of a village, including their parents, hope that the two would become husband and wife. When Simon come, the villagers and the parents of the young man and woman decide to build house for couple. The villagers cut down trees to make pillars for houses and build the house very quickly. The young couple then become independent from their parents and started a family. About a year later, a baby was born to them. Three or four years later, another baby was born and they lived happily ever after. At that time, the house itself shook. Why did the house shake? The family was very surprised and decided that, that they could not live in peace without any help. So that he, they moved to all their belongings out to their parents' house. Then they, and then they destroyed their own house. Traditionally, wood used to make the pillars of house is peeled of its the bark, and the base of the pillars are burned to prevent rooting. However, the young couple's house was built in hurry, so pillars were erected without burning the base of the pillars or peeling the board. This is the reason uh, why the uh, insect eating the inside of pillars. The pillars were covered with insect pieces, but after they are removed, a wonderful pattern was revealed formed by the trace of the insect feeding on the wood. The villagers were amazed and said, the insects really did their best. They did wonderful jobs. The villagers decided to make use of pattern to create a pattern, uh, create a pattern for clothing. However, uh, since it was a small village, they did not want to tell anyone about, uh, about it because uh, they knew that uh, if they took to the larger villages, the pattern would be immediately snatched, snatched, uh, snatched away. So the woman of the smaller villages extended them secretly. And before long, the parent, uh, the pattern spread and no one knew where it came from or what its origin was. In fact, it is a result of efforts of insects that beautiful pattern have come to be embroidered on clothing. Uh, there are uh, traits yeah, uh, trace of uh, insect bites. This is uh, not only one answers, and uh, but uh, it does give us uh, one understanding of design by the island people. This is the uh, most famous iron proverb today. Kanto roa yakusaku no arampuke shinepukai san. And this is a nothing come down from Kanto. Uh, Kanto meaning the land of the spirit deities uh, without rules. This proverb pointed out, pointed out that we need to have respect for everything in the world. I found a similarity between this proverb and the oral literature I shared. Uh, next topic is the uh, wood carving. In, in 2013, uh, Nibutani Ita, uh, wooden tray, and the Nibutani Atsushi uh, textile made from the tree bark was designated as a traditional craft by the Japanese government. This was the first designation in the Hokkaido. This is the uh, uh, Nibutani Ita. Uh, this story and this ita was uh, made by the Mamoru-san, uh, Kaizawa Mamoru-san, 
And uh, this is the Nibutani Atsushi. Atsushi this uh, is uh, made by the uh, Mamoru's mother, uh, Yukiko Kaizawa. Nibutani uh, has uh, four basic designs. Uh, this this is the model noka and the gender spiral patterns. And this is the Irish noka. Uh, it's uh, sometimes described as a plant song pattern. And this is the shiku noka. It's sometimes it's described as a eye, eye pattern or eye shape. And this is the ram ram noka. It's in Ain language. Is, this is sometimes called uh, fish scale pattern. The Nibutani artisans create individualities from a combination of basic designs. Here, uh, tradition and creativity uh, coexist. This ita, uh, this tray, was made by the tall Kaizawa previously demonstrated in this exhibition. Paul Kaizawa has said that he gets a lot of inspirations from the work made by his great-grandfather. And the last topic is the uh, Inau. Uh, Inau were uh, used in the various prayers throughout the year. They served a common purpose as a gift to deities. There is a complex, complex systems concerning the manner in which they are offered, such as differences in shape and size or the number and the combination of inaus. Uh, inau is a very sacred item and requires uh, special attention. Uh, only uh, can only be made by the Ainu, it's uh, human. And classify the type of the kike. A kike is here the wood shaving. Uh, in Ainu language, say the kike. Yeah. And for classifying the type of the kike, there are three names. First, and uh, here, and the uh, chehoro kake now, and the uh, kike shaved in reverse from top to down, uh, top to bottom. And next one is Kichi no Iei now uh, with the twisted kike. And uh, this is the type of the Kichi no Iei now. And third is the Kike Parase now with the untwisted kike. The name of the Inau uh, depends on the purpose for which it is uh, used. Yeah, uh, in. Uh, for which it is to be used. Here is a quote from a book by the Dr. Shigeru Kayano, uh, a famous elder in Nibutani, is here. And this Shiroma Inau, uh, this time the Shiroma Inau is here. This is Shiroma Inau. This is Chehoroka Kepu Inau. And the Shiroma Inau is made for bear sending ceremonies or housewarming ceremonies. And the Shiroma Inau and the Chehoroka Kep Inau uh, stood by the hills. After the ceremony, the Chehoroka Kep Inau is burned, and only Shiroma Inau is uh, kept in the house. Uh, I don't know, wrote that. I think so you can understand the complexity uh, from these examples. Uh, so uh, I would like to stop the, my talk here as uh, I move on to the demonstrations. Uh, please enjoy the next uh, Mamoru-san and the Toshiya-san's demonstration. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Yamasaki, uh, for that uh, enlightening in introduction. You, of course, can see uh, all of these examples in, in the exhibition uh, that we have at Japan House. But now it's time to introduce our uh, two craftsmen, uh, our two friends from uh, Nibutani, who have especially joined us this evening. They only arrived yesterday, so a warm welcome to them. Uh, the first is Kaizawa Mamoru. 
Uh, and the second is Kawanano Toshia. Would you please uh, come forward? Thank you very much. But before they, they give their demonstrations, I, I'll, I'll give you a short introduction to them both. Uh, Kaisa Mamoru uh, grew up uh, surrounded by the carvings produced by his woodcarver father, Moriyuki. And Mamoru was 12 when his father died, and although he did live in Sapporo for a while after graduating from high school, he returned to Nibutani at the age of 21 and has been working to continue Ainu woodworking techniques ever since. He is particularly noted for his delicately and beautifully crafted ram ram noka, the fish scale patterns. He is the owner of Kaizawa Minge, a shop in, uh, in the small uh, village of Nibutani. And he is, at the moment, most definitely the go-to person for Ainu crafts in, in Nibutani, and currently the chair of the Nibutani Craft Cooperative Association. Thank you very much indeed, Mamoru, for coming. Thank you. We also have Kawana no Toshia, who was born in Biratori town, uh, in Hokkaido, and Toshia has been engaged in Ainu cultural preservation activities as a member of the Biratori Iwar Restoration Project since 2008. He belongs to the Nibutani Craft Cooperative Association and practices Ainu woodworking. In 2020, he participated in the I Hokkaido Ainu Traditional Crafts Exhibition organized by the Ainu Association of Hokkaido. And you can see works, of course, by both our friends in the exhibition. So please do, if you are here with us in Japan House, uh, have a look later. Kaizawa san and Kawanano san will be speaking in Japanese and will be joined by Beth and Jones, who will be providing interpretation for us. Let me pass you back to Yamasaki uh, Koji, who will guide us through the demonstrations of both Nibutani Ita and Inao. Thank you very much indeed. はい、え、それでは私の方から簡単にあの、これからデモンストレーションをちょっとについて少しお話を聞きながら、え、皆様とえ、デモンストレーションを楽しみたいと思います。We so are about to start our demonstrations that I hope you'll enjoy. I will guide you through them and ask some questions as well.。え、あの、カイザーマモルさんの方からえ、簡単にえ、ニブタニータの、ま、文様などについて so we'll start with Kaizawa Mamoru, if he wouldn't mind telling us a bit about the designs and the process of, of making the Nibutani Ita, first of all. はい、ではですね、あの、ここにある板なんですけど、ま、先ほど山崎先生がま、説明していた引くのかという目の形があります。で、え、漏れるのか。静かに曲がる形。ま、Uh, so the designs uh, that make up the Nibutani Ita, we've already heard about from uh, Yamasaki Sensei. Uh, they are the Shiku Noka, the eye shape. Moreu Noka. Ah, thank you. So the, the eye shape, the Shiku Noka. The Moreu, which is the gentle spiral shape. Uh, then we have the Ainushu, which is the the thorn pattern, which is also features on my uh, on my robe here around this piece. Right. There we are. That's the thorn pattern again. And finally, the fish scales, the dum dum. These are design elements that have been handed down in the region where I live, uh, and I combine them in my own way uh, to make my own patterns. Today, I'm going to show you the 
、まあ、こういったパターンの模様を写し、まあ、ここに写してます。Uh, this is what I'm going to be carving today. I've already transferred the design from this paper pattern onto the, the ita, the tray. まあ、作り手によってあの文様の書き方とかたくさんあるんですけど、まあ、僕はあのこのカーボン紙を使ってちょっと文様を今描いてみようと思います。Uh, different people work in different ways, but I use、uh, carbon paper、uh, when I'm creating my designs, and I'm just going to show you now how I do that. まあ、ここにあるようなあの A4 のまあコピー用紙ですけど、これをまあ予想にしますね。I have a sheet of regular A4 printer paper that I'm going to fold in quarters. まあ予想にした中にカーボン紙を挟み込んで。And I'm going to sandwich the carbon paper between it. でまあいろいろなパターンをね書いていくんですけど、まあ今簡単な模様を。And I'll just draw a basic pattern. シクノカがまあこの中心に行きますね。シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シクノカ、シク Uh, this rounded shape which represents a, a bud. まあ簡単な、えー、模様ですけど、まあ、カーボン紙に落ちて書いて広げると、まあ、ちょっと薄いですけど、こんな形のなとなくアイヌ模様ができます。So、this is just a very basic design, but you can see that where I've used the carbon paper,、uh, it's been faintly transferred onto the rest of the sheet of paper. まあ、こうやってできた、あこうやってできた模様を、まあ、お盆に書き写して持っていくんですけど、まあ、あの刃物の彫刻刀としては、えーとまあ、このお盆なんかだと、この4本ぐらいのものでできますね。Uh, ではあのまあ、実際にこの平と、まあ、皮切りって言いますけど、この平と,と、まあ、三角と、でこれ、陰とって言いますね。でまあ、あと、この丸い、丸とは、あのこのお盆を掘っていく中でこう、くぼみを、くぼみをつけたり、この、白のお盆だと、こういう端を、あの、刃物を当てて掘っていくときに使います。Uh, I've got this,、um... まずあの、まあ、刃物はこう自分の手に合うような形で絵を作ってますね。Uh, hand, uh, exactly. まあ、掘る順番は人それぞれなんですけど、僕はこの外側の丸から掘ってきます。Everyone will have their, their preferred order、uh, for carving the design, but I always start with the circle around the outside. でですね、あの、まあ、えっ、ー、と、鳥の陰影をつけるのに刃物をあのまっすぐでなくて、こう自分の体の中心に少し向けて持ってきます。Uh, chisel, 実際に持ってきます。はい。Here you go. この木はカツラの木ですね。Uh, this wood is Katsura. もう一つの四角いお盆は古みの木です。Uh, and the, the square、uh, tray on the table here is made of walnut wood. この木の木目があの坂目になったりするんで、あの入れる方向を変えたりして掘ったりもしますね。I'm changing the angle 
uh, that I carve at, uh, depending on which way the wood grain is running. So I'll use this V-shaped chisel to start by tracing along, uh, carving all the lines in the design. The lines are all double lines. So once I've got the first one, I then go along and carve a second one alongside it. Why do you need those? Why do you carve those the, the two lines? まあ、it creates, uh, having the two lines creates a kind of um, light and shade, a shadow effect. Um, I do use the, the rounder chisel, as I say, to, to make these concave parts, but having the, the double line along the edge of it somehow makes it feel more, more complete. I'll show you now how I carve the second line. It's in a straight line with a, a shallower um, carve. Then I repeat that across the whole of the ita. で、まあ、あの、ですね。and once I finish that, I'll start carving the num num, the fish scales, uh, which I do at, uh, initially by carving lines at 45 degrees. Carve these uh, parallel lines, which go on to create little squares. There's a there's a technique to carving these lines as well, which is quite hard to describe, but you have to get the angle right when you're when you're inserting the, the chisel. まあ、こういうふうにマス目ができたら刃物の裏にしてこのまあ、1つずつ掘っていくんですけど、その時にまあ、木の目に沿って上下からこう向かい合うような形で掘るのが我々の掘り方です。Once I've got the squares, I turn
Uh, and now I'm carving along the grain of the wood uh, from each direction. This, this is what creates the, the fish scales. Uh, and once I've finished with the scales, uh, the ita will be complete. How long does it take you to carve one of these Nibutani ita? Depends how detailed the design is and how big the areas of, of fish scale pattern of ram ram are. Uh, but this ita I could make in, in about two days. モデルの方とか、We've heard about the, the basic elements of the pattern, the moreo and the, the shika, uh, but you, the way you put these together combines these traditional elements with your own uh, originality and, and creativity. What do you enjoy or what do you find challenging about getting that balance? ま、木彫りをして Coming up with the designs is very tricky. Uh, I've been carving now for 39 years and I feel, still find it challenging. Um, to to bring that originality to it, but I, I just try to to carve my best day by day. はい。ありがとうございました。え、それではえっと、今もうすでにスタートしてますけれども、えっと、稲受け、あ、稲受作りのデモンストレーションに移りたいと思います。Let's move on then to the demonstration of making an inao now. え、先ほどから一人で黙々と稲を削ってくれていました。少しあずおりでも ですあ、スパイラルシェービングイナウキケというのはどういうものなんでしょうかアンドワットアーイナウキケ意識意識とかやるときによく使うものなので意識があるためにこれを作るようにしてますはいでイユーズフォービッグセレモニーソウェネ
、まあ、それとほぼ同じなんですけども、その、以下の切り離した、その削りかけだけの部分のことを、まあ、稲を切っていうことですね。The, the three types that I mentioned in my presentation,、um, the three types of i n a o have the, the kike、uh, shaved from the same piece of wood and left attached to that stick. Uh, whereas in this case, he's, he's shaving the inao, but detaching,、uh, shaving the kike,、uh, but detaching them、uh, from the, the, the piece of wood that he's carving them from. How are these、uh, kike used? These will be attached to、uh, implements used during the, the ceremonies as decoration and also、uh, within the home again as, as decoration. これは今の木は今使っている木の素材は何でしょう And what wood is this? これはあの皮だとかによく生えている柳という木です。This is willow、uh, from the riverbanks. これは取ってきてすぐそういうふうに削れるんですか And do you, do you cut it and, and use it immediately? 外側がついているのでその外側を剥いでから1週間ほど乾かしてから。Uh, first, I have to remove the outer bark,、uh, and then I leave the wood to dry for a week before I can start.、Uh, and what, why, do you need, why does it need to be dried? パラ、キケパチノエイナウとか、キケパラスはだいたい10本から11本とかで、このイナウキケっていうのをが一番使うので、150本ぐらい使っ作ってます。あ、白マイナウじゃなくて、うんと、キケチノエイナウとキケパラスが7本。Uh, the, the inao that we saw in the presentation, the, the three different types, or the, and the, the shiroma inao as well, would be eight, eight or nine, maybe up to ten of those.、Um, but these kike that I'm making now, I would make about 150. Inao or inao kike is very interesting. それはあの取り扱いにいろいろ注意点があると思いますけれども、この辺について教えていただけますか the, the inao themselves and the kike are sacred,、um, so there are certain things that we need to be careful of when we are handling them. Could you tell us about some of those? えっと、一応これは神様に捧げるものなので、なんか雑に扱ったりとか、そこの辺に捨てることは絶対しないので、かき。Well, because these are offerings、uh, to the Kamui, to the, the spirit deities,、um, you can't、uh, mistreat them,、um, you can't handle them roughly, you, you mustn't、uh, throw them away、uh, under any circumstances. If, you, if they are to be、uh, disposed of, Then we、uh, burn them as an offering to the, the fire coming. Now, I'm going to put it in the fire. 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 I
削りかけも、まあ、ゴミ箱とかに捨てちゃダメなんですよね。So that means you're not going to be throwing these, these shavings on the floor、uh, in the bin afterwards. そうですね。これもやっぱり捧げ物なので、処理は一緒です。木の壁からにあげます。No, these will be treated the same way. They will be offered to the, the fire, the fire come with. ありがとうございます。えっ、ー、と、今、最後に一つだけ、あのそのイナウを削る、えー、ところ、削る中でですね、ソシアさんが一番大事にしていることっていうのを最後に教えていただけますか Finally, then, what, what is it that you are, that's most important to you、uh, when you are ca- carving these, you know? I just do my best to create something that anyone would, would find beautiful. Thank you very much. では、えー、と私からの,あの司会進行はここで、えー、一旦止めて、えー、この後 Q&A に移りたいと思います。ありがとうございました。Uh, hey, thank you very much. Time for you to ask questions at this time. We have Uh, thank you very much indeed. If you could put your hand up and we will get a microphone to you. The reason we want a microphone to you is because it means our, our, our viewers online can also hear. We have a question,、uh, yes, on the end of this line. Please, if you could keep your hand up. Thank you. And we'll get a, a microphone to you. Hi.、Um, so you said earlier that these offerings are for the、um, a house. The house or the home or for a bear, the bear spirit. Is it one or the other or is it connected? And what's the significance of the bear, bear please? Takiyo no no hanashi de, eh, ie de kono inau wa ie de kazatta di, eh, kuma no, kuma o kuru toki no, eh, di shiki ni tsukau te hanashi datta ndesu ka, desu, te hanashi datta to moimasu kedo, kono futatsu take desu ka, do, この2つのどっちかにしか使われないんですかそしてそのクマの意味がちょっとこうあの引っかかったんですけどどう,どういうことですか、うん、まあ、カブトシとクマオロシと三家っていう儀式とあとあ三家っていう儀式と,、えー、っと先祖供養シヌラッパっていう、うん意識もありますし、と結婚式、ゆとむぬからという結婚式とかも、うん、走りチェプノミっていう新しい酒を迎える儀式の時とかにもこういうのを使う、作っています。はい。Um, those aren't the only、uh, ceremonies where these are used.、Uh, there are, for example,、uh, the is it called the boat launching? The c h i p s a n k e yes, the boat launching indeed.、Uh, the, the, for memorial ceremonies, for our ancestors,、uh, weddings,、um, also、uh, the, the ceremony to welcome the first、uh, salmon of the year. Yes, in, in, in all sorts of, 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 of occasions. We have video footage in the exhibition as well. If, you're, if you have a, please do have a look to see the various occasions that you will be able to, to, to see、uh, Inao. Employed, and we have a, an actual Inao altar, a Nusa,、uh, specially made for us by Mamoru san, actually,、uh, for the exhibition, which was especially made for us. Thank you very much. Do we have another question? Yes, I do. I see we have a question here. If you could put your hand up, please, so we can get the microphone to you. Thank you. I wanted to ask uh, uh, how long.、Uh, Did it didn't take learning、uh, Denmark? And、uh, moreover, how long、uh, did it take uh, uh, learn、uh, how to sharpen them on、uh, blades properly? This is how long it took to learn how to sharpen them on blades properly. This is how long it took to learn how to sharpen them on blades properly. 
トギですけど、トゲるようになるのにどれぐらい時間かかったんですかえー、っとですね、あの、まあ、えー、っと、まあ、センスももちろんあるとは思うんですけど、まあ、掘る機会はさほどでないんですけど、やっぱり認められるのに、やっぱり時間はかかったりしますね。刃物自体も、あの、まあ、まあ、先輩の見たりとか、まあ、自分でしっかりと遂げるようになるので、まあ、1年もかからないでできるのかなと思います。あこれもあ時間っていうか、まあ、一人前になるっていうところで言うと、そのいつがっていう話でもあって、今、若い子たちがどんどん増えてますけど、どんどん掘らせてはいるんで、まあ、それが認められる。のが、まあ、早いか遅いかっていうところかなって思ったりはしますけど、まあ、す,すぐあの作れるようにはなるんですけどしっかりと認められるのがこのタイミングかはちょっと何とも言えません。In terms of how long it takes to, to be able to do this,、uh, well, there's an element of, of artistic sensibility to it, and you can actually learn to do it. Fairly quickly, but it's then being recognized that maybe takes a bit longer.、Um, we have quite a lot of, of young people now learning to do this, and they can do it, but it's, it's a case of at what stage do we say that they, they are proficient、um, uh, and that, that they, they've mastered it.、Um, in terms of, of sharpening the tools, I think、uh, by you know, what, watching. My elders、um, and the other craftsmen, I could do that within, within,、uh, in less than a year. Thank you for the question. In fact, we have 11 ita plates or trays from Nibutani,、uh, which we commissioned especially for the exhibition by the 11 craftspeople who are in Nibutani who make ita. Two of them are here, of course. Please do have a look in the exhibition. That it's probably relevant to that answer in that we have. Uh, displayed them from the youngest through to the oldest. And maybe you, you can guess before you read the labels which one is Mamoru's and which one is Toshi's.、Uh, maybe you will be able to find who knows. Thank you very much for the question. I know we had a question right in the front. Yes, if you could put your hand up, please, so we can. Thank you. Thank you so much.、Um, I have a question about the Inao.、Um, what is behind the, the, this beautiful swirl? Is it the particular wood? It is a particular tool? Is it the skill? Is it a combination of all of them? In our case, it's a little bit of a skill. How do you think it's a skill? Is it 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 a skill? Maskiri, isn't it? It's Inao Ke Makuri.、Yeah. Mm, so it's a special, a special one only used for, for making in, Inao. Thank you very much indeed. We have、um, some questions on, on, online. I, I should,、uh, this is from Danny、uh, about the tools.、Um, are the, they're very beautiful. Are they handmade? Netto no. Um, I. Thank you. Some of the,、um, the knives in the exhibition have carved wood on the end, on the end of the blade. Is that for anything or is that just to protect? 
Oh, the you're talking book. about the Inal Kemakiri. Mm. So, yes, in the exhibition, the Makiri are, are laid out, but the Inal Kemakiri have a, a protective wooden piece on the end. Is that just for protection? It is, yeah. あの、木の部分がついてるんですけど、あれはあの、こう滑ってこないように一定の角度で引っ張れるように、あの、ストッパーですね、ここ。It's it's a stopper. Um, to make sure that you get the angle right. So it functions in the same way as the, the curved tip of the, of the knife. Thank you. We have a question over on this side. Thank you. I uh, thank you very much for the demonstration. Um, how do you make the initial form of the plate, um, the bowl itself, the round one and the rectangular one? どうですね。ま、これは旋盤、わかります旋盤。旋盤で、あの、ま、ルーターマシンで、あの、木枠で木で枠を作って、ちょっと粗く、あの、ま、ルーターマ、ルーターの刃で削って、その後、こう、平ら
神様にお祈りとかしたりもするんですけど、まあ、未亡になったり、そのまあ、月経がなくなった女性は、そういうこともしてもいいよっていう、まあ、生理がなくなったりとか、そういう人は、あのまあ、そういう髪飲みもしてもいいよっていうふうに習ってきてます。Points.、Um, there are occasions when women are allowed to, to make the offerings and, and do the prayers,、um, widows, and also、uh, post menopausal women are sometimes allowed to do that. Thank you. Well, we actually have somebody who I know does wood carving、uh, from Nibutani, who's a woman at the back of the room there as well. So, Maki san, can you put your hand up, please? There we go. Thank you.、Uh, she's an expert wood carver as well. So it's definitely gone that way. Thank you very much. And, and also, I would just to say that in Nibutani, there is, there is, there is,、um, there, there is definitely a movement towards、uh, things which were traditionally only for women, like singing, Ufopo, for example. We've had visits、uh, from Nibutani where both Rino san and Seya san, and, he, and Seya is a, is a man who joined. Uh, together with Reno to, to sing. And, 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 and so there are opportunities where you know, traditionally gender divide has, has been crossed. You know, so just to make that point、uh, quite clear. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have one last question? Yes, in the white, please. えっとですね、あのこの茶色く塗ってるのはアンティークワックス塗ってますね。あの基本あの古い資料の中のものはもうつぼりで何も塗ってない状況のものが今古い博物館、まあ、もちろんロンドンにも多分あると思うんですけど、そういう収蔵物はほとんど塗ってな,ないです。でも僕らは今あの彫ってるものを日常使いをしてほしいと思ってますんで、まあ、ワックス塗ったりとか、まあまあ、体に使いのないオイルとかそういったものを塗ってまあ日常使いをしてもらおうと思ってあの作っています。Uh, this brown one、uh, is is treated with an antique wax. Most of the Nibutani Ita, that the older ones that you might see in in museum collections, including here in London,、uh, would not have been treated、um, with any varnish or coating. But now the ones we make, we want people to be able to use them day to day. Uh, so, we might wax them or put, use some kind of、um, non toxic oil、uh, on them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's, that's all we've got time for the, this evening for this particular event, but、um, very special, as I, I think you will agree. Thank you very much to、uh, Kaiser Mamoru. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also to Kawanano Toshia. Thank you. And Professor Yamasaki Koji, thank you very much. And also our interpreter, well done, thank you so much, Beth Ann Jones. And thank you very much for coming and joining us online.、Uh, we will send you a simple feedback form after this event. If you could fill it in, it will help us maybe、uh, bring this kind of event back to you in the future as well, if you did enjoy it. Just to say what we have coming up. We have,、uh, of course, the exhibition Contemporary Lives by the Saru River is on. We are open until 8 30 this evening, especially. So if you haven't seen the exhibition or you'd like to see it again, please do feel free to go and see it. We also have our workshops with our friends from Biraturi、uh, this weekend over the next few days. We have Making Ainu Patterns Embroidery.、Uh, we also have Making Ainu Patterns Wood Carving. For those of you lucky enough to be、uh, able to take part, you will be able to take home your own uh, uh, woodwork and embroidery as a result. We also have、uh, a gallery tour with、uh, Sekine Maya and Sekine Kenji,、uh, who are from Nibutani,、uh, looking at、uh, their perspective、uh, of, of what the exhibition offers to them. 
and we also have a film screening, Ainu Past and Present. This uh, is in conjunction with the Royal Anthropological Institute. It's the legacy of Neil Gordon Munro, who uh, lived in Nibutani, a Scottish physician in the 1930s for 10 years until his death in 1942. Thank you very much once again for joining us this evening, and please join me in thanking again Kaizawa Mamoru at and Awanamu uh, Toshia. And Yamasaki, thank you very much. Thank you.